What's going on YouTube? July from JulianTheMarket.com here, back again with another video. And in this video, guys, we're going to be talking about day eight of the 30-day challenge. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm doing a follow-along for the next 30 days where I'm following Trey Llewellyn's uh, plan where he is explaining how he can make money out of thin air, like literally out of thin air. So we've been doing it for the last eight days. Today's the eighth day. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, click the link below so you can watch from day one and then you can catch up to day eight. But I'm super excited for this. I'm going to show you guys some researching techniques to find um, the emails from the different people. But before we get into that, definitely subscribe and hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video because I'm always posting new videos, especially with this challenge. I'm posting a video a day, so you definitely want to keep up and see how it's going, okay? So today what we're going to do is we're going to actually do some research on screen. I, I did some research off screen, um, but like I said in yesterday's video, we're going to be using a service called Rocky Reach and we're going to be using LinkedIn as well. So I got this pulled up, rockyreach.com, actually .co, so if you want to head over there, you can. Um, they do have a paid option, but we're going to be using the free option because they give us 10 free lookups. So that's all we really need, to be honest with you. Um, and we could just take it from there and just get the emails, and then we can do some outbound um, emailing, and then hopefully we can do some skip tracing off camera, maybe on camera, I'm not too sure, but we can do some skip tracing to find the numbers of these people to get them on the phone. But first we're just going to email them and see what happens. Okay. So I'm going to bring us over to my 30 day challenge money spent sheet, but also I just put the brand names that I'm going to be working with. Hopefully general number, marketing manager name and email. So I did some um, brands already. You can see here. Um, and I got some emails, um, some numbers I got, but then other one, other ones I didn't get. Like I said, we spent $46 so far. So, we're on track. We're okay. We're not overspending. Or, you know, um, fifty dollars is not that much, depending on what we're going to be making in profit. So let's actually get started. So let's just take an, uh, the next one over, which is Corsair, and we're gonna go to Rocky Reach. Now, Rocky Reach is a way for you to um, find people's names, or find people's emails, or find people's social media profiles. There's different things you can do with this tool. It's really really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the name. Um, I'm just going to type in employer. So I'm going to go right here, employer, and then type. And then what this is going to do is going to pull everyone that has Coursera in their um, LinkedIn profile or th that says they work there. So I can see the different um, people, but I can also see the title. So um, you can see George Marcus is the director of marketing, DIY, enthusiast products. Um, so there's there's different people we're looking for we're primarily we're looking for um marketing managers or people who are in communication so maybe harry butler would be a good person um so because he's the director of pr and marketing communication so that's definitely someone we want to get if he is still working there so once we find a person's name that we want to use or potentially contact we just click on get contact info and then that's going to show us their email um, and then we can also look at view look up details and then see those details so we can see he has a valid email harry butler at gmail.com um, these are invalid it says but we can also try these out um, possible emails harry.butler at coursera 27 percent so possibility that's there um, it also has some phone numbers here. I'm not too sure what these phone numbers are, but let's actually just write these down. Um, I'll copy those over into our sheet here, and then we'll um, we're gonna actually we're gonna put the name as well. So we got Harry Butler, um, and then we got his email. And we got potential emails as well. So let's actually get these other ones here and we can just put them in the list. And this is, I, I've used this service before with some success. So um, I'm not too sure about the copy. Like, you know, it might be a little weird, like, hey, uh, how did you get my email or how did you get my phone number? Um, but I have an idea. I think I'm going to say like something like, you know, um, a mutual friend or like um, a mutual friend who had your contact details, ha you know, recommended that I reach out to you. But I'm not too sure if I want to go that route yet. Um, and then we can see George Marcus. We could potentially reach out to this guy, but I'm just concerned that 
Director of Marketing, DIY, and Enthusiast Products. I'm not too sure what that means. And then this guy, Director of PR and Marketing Communications. I guess we can get contact info here and see if it pulls up anything. Um, so we do, for every search that we're using or clicking on Get Contact Info, we're using one of our 10. Um, so we're done with this. But the thing about Rocket Reach is you can just sign up for a new account. Um, found three emails. So let's just write down this guy's name, George Marcus. Um, yeah, so you can like, you can um, just sign up for another account and you'll be fine. Um, so let's actually duplicate. Let's copy this and then and just paste that there. Only because if we have multiple contacts, I don't want to get confused and you know what I mean? Like use, it would, it's just better to separate them to be honest. So this is something that you can do for a lot of different things, not just this challenge. Like if you have a, a, an agency, and you're trying to reach out to people, you can definitely do this. I've done this with cold emailing before. Um, so yeah, so this is, I think those are the best two contacts to be honest. Um, Partnerships manager, that might be someone. Aaron Jackson, that might be someone. Um, we can always come back. Director of Marketing Gaming. This person, Lauren, actually might be really good for us. Um, so let's actually get her too. Oh, we got a phone number too for Lauren. Um, see, I like Director of Marketing Gaming just because of the fact. Huh, so she went to Colorado University, I'm assuming maybe. But I like I like Lauren because she. Um, oops, didn't want to show you that. <laughs> um, it seems that she's the director of gaming, but she's also marketing. So that's someone that we could definitely reach out to for some donations. Um, so let's just copy her information over here. And this is it guys, it's kind of boring, but this is the work that you have to do to put in. And you know, this is just a, the first start. Like if if you want to go further, we'll skip trace these people and try to get um, even more information from her. I don't know if this number is correct, but we'll just put it down. Um, George didn't have a number, Harry did though. All right, so let's just move on. So then you would go to the next one. So you would type in Big Bad Store as the employer and see if anything comes up for that. Nope, nothing comes up. So what we can do now is we can go Big Bad Toy Store and then we could try to see if we can um, if we can get some information about them. contact us so they do have a customer service email and they have a customer service phone line um, I guess at the start kind of sucks but I mean we want ideally we would want not a service at you know whatever but we just gotta do what we gotta do right all right Oops, wrong one, there we go. And then we would go Forbidden Planet and we just keep going on and on and on and on and on. So that's pretty much the process, guys. Um, it's it's gonna take some time, not that much time, but by the end of today, I'll have all of these um, filled out and as much information as I possibly can. And then I'll start sending out emails starting, um, I don't know if I'm gonna send them out today. I might send them out tonight or tomorrow. But that's the process that I'm going to be taking. I'm going to be just using Rocket Reach. And like I said, it's pretty simple. And if you run out of searches, just make a new account, verify the account, and boom, you're good. Um, and you can, just, you can make up like three Gmail accounts. Um, and then you get 10 searches per Gmail account. And then that's 30 searches. And if you have 30 brands, then you're, you're good, right? So that is the process I'm going to be taking. Um, 
it's going along smoothly. Like I said, this week is going to be the crunch week where I'm going to actually be actively, aggressively reaching out to these people once I fill up that sheet and then emailing these people, following up with them. If they don't respond back to me the first day, um, reaching out to them again the next day and just saying, you know, hey, we're serious about this. Um, and then maybe even trying to get them on the phone. So like if, if they read the email, we can say, hey, um, do you have like five minutes, have five minutes of your time? I just want to talk to you about this opportunity that we can both help each other and you know take it from there but ideally we want to get people on the phone i feel that that would probably be the best way in terms of actually getting something um donated to this whole contest so that's what's going to be happening guys i'm really excited thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoy this content if you learned something definitely give me a thumbs up leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or comments subscribe if you haven't hit, hit that subscribe button and definitely hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video, okay guys? I'm super stoked for this. It's been going really, really well. Um, I can't believe it's day eight already, um, but it, it's it's a process, but it's really cool to see it progress and keep it going. So I'm really excited for you guys to watch this grow. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you